January. Um, it's the second time I've been out since the new year. Um, the first session I was fishing uh, holes in the ice. Um, this is the first proper opportunity I've managed to get out where the lake is uh, fully defrosted. Um, last time I came out, I was fishing right down in the shallows on the other end of the lake and um, I was fishing in virtually smack up against where the edge of the ice was. Uh, I was only here for about five hours. I had uh, one proper rip round on the rod and um, connected with nothing and, and that's all the action I had. So, so I'm down here again now that the um, ice is gone. Hoping for a bit of a, a bit more winter carp in action. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Um, so let's have a look where I am. This is, I've come down to one of the pegs right down the end. Um, one of the pegs that, uh, when the water levels up, there's a, like an evil looking wooden stand here with all the nails and stuff sticking out, so I try to avoid that um, during the summer months. Um, what we got over here, well, this is usually over during the summer, so winter's probably the best time to fish this peg. But, yeah. I just felt like, right, I took a walk around earlier on and I did see two fish topping down this end. Um, irrelevant to what they were, bream, car, roach or anything. That's what brought me here. So, yeah, so I was fishing, um, let's have a look, right down, you got the point there, yeah, point there, we moved down, I was fishing probably a little peg in the corner there, because that's where the, where the ice was nearly come to on last Monday, I think it was. Um, all this was completely frozen. It was frozen for over for over two weeks. So, hopefully, with um, with a big gap of time, without eating nothing and or being trapped underneath ice, uh, there'll be a bit of an appetite on, and um, I'll I'll be able to attempt a couple with my bait. All right then, I'll uh, I'll see you later. Right. Uh, right, so I've, I've been here like close to what, four and a half hours. I got here at 12. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's only half past four now and it's nearly too dark to film. I'm actually using red light on the head torch because the main beam is a bit overpowering at the moment. Um, yeah, I had nothing. And a knock or nothing. Um, as the lights start to fade now, there is a few more fish topping in the area. So I've quickly checked all my bait, or reeled them in. Two of them I'd leaves on, even though I'd sent them out with nuggets on and tiny PVA bags just to cover the hooks, really. Um, but given four hours, that bag's gone and um, they're all covered in black leaves and all the crap from the bottom of the lake. So. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how long they've been sitting like that, so I've just maybe wasted my time for the last couple of hours with the baits out. Um, I think I'm going to stick it out till about 7 or 8 o'clock. So that's another three, three and a half hours. Um, and hopefully I'll get another... I'll get some, some sort of action uh, as it gets dark. Um, I remember that the, the run I did have in... in uh, when I was fishing in the ice was um, virtually as it was just getting really low visibility light then I had the yank on the rod um, so I cross my fingers that'll happen again alright then I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I get on if I catch or if I blank alright then I'll see you later oh. alright then um Away. Time's come. Um, I've done my about eight hours. I've done in here, and I've suffered my uh, second 2011 blank. All right, I'm not going to do 
uh, dwell on it too much. It's um, it's freezing at the moment. I just want to get up and go home. Um, yeah, all the rods are packed down anyway now, so that's it. Um, hopefully, things will work out better in the next session. All right, then. I'll see you. Da da. Hello, um, so it's the 23rd of January, um, I've been out for two weeks, but I'm back on the same peg I was two weeks ago um, when I decided to give up because it was so cold. Um, weather hasn't got any really better, any better at all really. Um, it, everything thawed and then we had that uh, horrible uh, week of like rain with this place flooded um, and then when I've been planning all weekend to come out here do a, a night session um, two days before it freezes over completely so it doesn't get much better really does it it just keeps getting worse or sitting on the borderline of, uh, of being probably the worst conditions for fishing but let's give it a try anyway um, I got all the three rods out virtually same thing as doing last time. Um, the only difference is I've uh, I've had a go at uh, making some of my own boilies. I know they're a bit of a mix and match of, of random stuff. These are some of them. They uh, and there's some of the bigger ones that I've been crushing up and putting in the bags. Uh, mainly, it's, it's a mixture of like meat, ground. Uh, base mix, uh, a few pellets just to give it that stinky sort of an, an oil and then um, I've just put a load of spice in them, cinnamon, uh, garlic powder and some curry powder as well so see if that uh, attracts a little bite or something well I can only hope alright then um, that's it for now I'll uh, let you know how I get on Right, so this is the lake, um, you can see, yesterday this was nearly completely frozen, what we got, we got like a rim of ice running right down here, and it finally cuts in somewhere into the trees there, um, I was hoping to fish that peg over there last night, and I got down here, they actually put the bivy up, because uh, there's a lot of water on top of the ice, and I could see the water on the surface of the ice rippling in the wind so I just thought it had thawed um, so I put the bivvy up I went to get the rods up I set the rods up and I looked out and I thought wait a minute there's something not quite right there so, so I picked up a couple of handfuls of boilies and just started throwing them out one by one and um, uh, they, they all bounced <laughs> so that was uh, me setting packing down uh, without even casting out so, that was uh, the end of that one until this morning. I thought, well, I'll get out and see if I can find a defroster spot and try and do And uh, it's strangely enough, really. I've never really fished this peg at all. And um, I'm fishing it twice in a row because it is one of the only defrosted areas. Right, well, I suppose I better do a little bit of an update. Um, I've been here five hours and nothing. Um, I had one beep on the left hand rod. Um, so I left it there, I actually stood next to the rod for a long time, hoping that uh, something might progress, but nothing did. Um, one big uh, change that I'd done was uh, I stopped using the back leads on two of the rods, mainly because it's so much debris in front of me that it was I was back leading the line it was just picking up <coughs> and dragging whatever every time I well, when I did reel in it was catching on the leaves and the branches or whatever's in front of me 
So I've actually been uh, tight lining it to two of them and still back lead in the one that close in. But, um, yeah. That's the update. Uh, so it's five hours, absolutely nothing. Uh, it's not really the best sort of conditions for carp fishing. The ice is slowly starting to sink into the lake now, so it might not even be. A, well, it's warming up, but as the ice is going to be melting into it, it's not going to be uh, sort of a good temperature for carp fishing. I don't think anyway. But um, I stick it. I will sit it out. I'll uh, I'll do one final update probably before I go. And that'll be it. Okay, then I'll see you later. Well, lake's starting to defrost now, and um, if you can see that sheet of ice now, it's, that's starting to move down towards me. So I've had two little beeps on the lines already. So I've got an area that's half the size of a football pitch moving on the lake now. So I'm expecting a few more, I say, liners. As that starts moving further down towards the weir, uh, but still no fish. Night lights are on on my uh, alarms, and let's see. Well, you won't see me at all anyway, is it? It's the best you're gonna get, is it? I don't. Know, I didn't bring my head torch with me, so I can't blind myself with that. Uh, right, so I've had two or three, three more beeps from um, the ice sheet moving. Um, then he cut on, so my homemade bodies just didn't work. Um, I'm going to be packing up now. Uh, I won't be out for a couple of weeks now. I've got a few things that I need to win on the week next couple of weekends. Um, maybe try another venue, try somewhere else, and then come back here in a, couple, in a month or so's time. And, See if anything's changed with the temperatures going up because they're gonna go up soon. Can't stay like this forever, can it? Alright then, um, so that's my what? One, probably, well, technically, I suppose my fourth blank in a row this year. Never mind, there's still another 11 months of the year left. Alright then, I'll see you, uh, see you whenever next on the bank. Ta da!